Crab Crabs are a large group of aquatic and semi-aquatic animals belonging to the deciduous crustacean family. They differ markedly from their relatives crabs are distinguished from their crayfish, shrimp, lobster and crayfish by their distinctly shorter abdomen, which is tucked under the broad torso. This gives them a distinctive, easily recognizable shape. At the same time, the crabs have reached an unprecedented level of diversity. 6,793 species are grouped into 93 families. Are grouped into 93 families, which accounts for half of the entire genus. In addition to their distinctive body shape, crabs are characterized by 10 pairs of limbs. They are divided into thoracic and abdominal. The first three pairs of thoracic limbs are very short and are called pendulous limbs because they do not participate in movement but only serve to to bring food to the mouth. The remaining pairs of thoracic legs serve to move, grasp and cut food and may also perform other auxiliary functions. The largest and most massive pair of legs are the claws. Not only can the crabs use them to hunt, but also to defend themselves and to engage in mating battles. The narrow specialization of these organs is reflected in their appearance, often the right and left claws are different in size and shape, giving the crab's body a marked asymmetry. As for the abdominal legs they are small and are used for fertilization by males or for laying eggs by females. With the thoracic legs of crabs are associated with such vital organs as the gills. Often their petals are located directly on the leg segments or near the place where they to the body. Crabs are among the most advanced crustaceans, so they have developed sensory organs. Vision plays a big role in their life. Is vision. The eyes of these animals are complex, faceted. They're made up of thousands of eyes, each of which can see just a tiny fraction of the space in front of them. The final assembly of the image takes place already in the animal's brain. It has been proven by many observations that crabs use their eyes to identify potential enemies, find a mate in the breeding season and orientate themselves. Breeding season and navigate the search for food. But if an animal is blinded, it loses only its ability to see danger, but it'll find food and a mate almost as effectively. It can do this with antennae that can pick up odors. To pick up odors. If the crab has its antennae cut off as well, it will find food again. But in that case, it would have to spend a lot of time and energy a lot of time and effort, because it will move towards its prey literally by touch, tapping its claws on the ground. Some crab species have balance organ statoliths. By the way, an enormous role in their physiology is played by stalks of the eyes. These are the most endocrine glands, capable of secreting hormones and regulating such bodily functions as the frequency of molting, the onset of sexual maturity, and even changes in coloration. Crabs do not have skin as such, it is replaced by a layer of hard and impenetrable chitin, which forms a kind of shell. The chitin is incapable of stretching. Capable of stretching, which makes normal linear growth impossible. Crabs solve this problem with regular molting. When the old shell bursts, the soft and defenseless animal gets out of it. It takes anywhere from a few weeks to six months for the new cover to harden. Weeks to half a year, during which time the crab hides in a secluded place and grows intensively. Chitin can become impregnated with all kinds of pigments, so the crabs can be colored in almost any way they want. In addition, the chitinous cover may have outgrowths, sparse and hard as thorns, short and stiff as stubble, or long or long and thin, like wool. The size of these animals also varies widely. The shell of the world's smallest pea crab is less than one centimeter in diameter. While the largest Japanese spider crab has a leg span of up to 4 m and weighs 20 kilograms. Crabs live in all of the world's seas and oceans, but they are most abundant in the tropics. The habitats in which these crustaceans live habitats range widely, they occur in shallow seas and oceans, among coral thickets on reefs and in deeper waters. Reefs, in depths of up to 5,000 m, in cave pools, in intertidal zones, in mangroves, and even in island depths far from the shore. Away from the shore. The vast majority live in saltwater, with around 850 species in freshwater. Crabs, which spend a long time they store water under the shell or develop lung-like organs while on land. Their underdeveloped gills are almost inactive. 
They hardly work, and if constantly submerged in water, such species die. Bottom-dwelling species are often active in the dark. Land crabs are most active during the day. When moving, these crustaceans never put both legs of one pair on the ground at the same time, which gives their gait stability, but the short length of the body and the large number of legs make forward movement uncomfortable, so crabs prefer to to walk sideways. At the same time, this doesn't prevent them from developing a decent speed, for instance, a grass crab in one second in one second. However, these animals swim poorly and reluctantly. These crustaceans are not very coexisting, they all live individually and jealously guard their territory or shelters, males are especially aggressive. Particularly aggressive males. However, the areas of small crabs are very small, so there may be up to 50 burrows per one square m. Danger is the only thing that makes the inhabitants of the colony forget about their quarrels. When threatened, the crabs signal their neighbors by waving with their claws, with sounds, or by tapping on the ground. Thanks to the vibrations, even crabs that can't see the enemy have time to to hide. Shelters deserve special attention. In the simplest case these animals hide among coral twigs, in crevices between between rocks or shells, in the cavities of sponges. But many crabs don't wait for nature's mercy, but dig their own burrows in the viscous silt or sand. These homes may have one straight passage, often quite deep, or several branching passages with alternate they may have one straight path, often quite deep, or several forked passages with emergency exits, beckoning crabs have a lid. Some species settle under the dome of jellyfish, among the tentacles of actinids, in the mantle cavity of mollusks, among needles, or even in the rectum of sea urchins. Crabs have almost no food specialization, all of them are to some extent omnivorous. These animals can eat bacterial film covering rocks, algae, fallen leaves and flowers, bivalve mollusks, polychaete worms, sea stars and small crustaceans. Starfish, small crustaceans, and even octopuses. Like crayfish, crabs enjoy eating carrion. Species that live in shallow waters, they enjoy snacking on the ground. By passing the mud through their intestines, they assimilate the microorganisms it contains. Microorganisms. Crabs do not just grab larger prey, but carve it up like real gourmets. In doing so, they use their claws they use their claws like a knife and fork holding their prey with one and cutting off neat pieces with the other. Due to their great diversity and abundance, crabs have many enemies. Fish, octopuses, crocodiles, starfish, seagulls and almost all predatory animals that come along the coast. Raccoon crustaceans in general specialize in harvesting crabs from the shore. This intense interest from carnivores has forced these crustaceans to create a multitude of defenses. The simplest of these is camouflage. This is achieved, in some cases, by coloration that very accurately reproduces the color reproducing the color and even the pattern of the substrate on which the species is found. Crabs have long played an important role in the human diet. Small crabs are easy to pick up without any implements, right on the traps, and nets are used to catch the larger deep-sea species. About 1.5 million tons of these crustaceans are harvested worldwide each year. This has already undermined the numbers of some species. But even in this massive fishery crab meat is not enough to satisfy consumer demand, which is why it is considered a delicacy. Natural crab meat is often replaced by so-called crab sticks. These substitutes, made from waste products from the fishing industry, of the fishing industry, has nothing to do with real crab, 